If you're new to Fremo or uh, this method of adhering track, uh, we've been using this now for uh, I think almost 15 years, 12 years now with uh, good success. Uh, but uh, this is available at our, our Home Depot or Lowe's here in the Midwest. Uh, again, if you get the clear, the clear goes on white. Bonus dry is clear so you know uh, when it's cured. Uh, it doesn't take a lot. I've seen some track go on with massive amounts, almost like you're trying to grout uh, in between the ties, and then you get this going up through the ties, uh, and it just it just doesn't look real good. So just a thin layer, and one of my favorite all-time tools in the hobby, uh, hotel key cards. Uh, if you know what I do for a living, you know I have an almost endless supply of these, so these come home with me from work. And they're great for uh, this uh, ballast work. Uh, I even will use them to, to preliminary use it to check the edge uh, when I'm setting my rail. Uh, numerous uses on that. So this is what we've done. I'm sure this isn't the only way to set the track, uh, but this is the method we've been using here in Texas uh, for many years with great success. And Everything's set in place. And then uh, for weights, I've got a combination of uh, fast fast tracks, uh, point jigs, which are heavy, and uh, machinist one, two, three blocks. Those work as well. So uh, one of the things that I forgot to point out, um, another use for the Gap Master and, and why it's really here. Uh, if we ever get to the point in free mode where we are using uh, butt joints or more uh, loose rail butt joints, then we're gonna have a problem uh, with the MSS and the signal iso or the electrical isolation. So if Fremo ever advances to that point, uh, and whether you have signals here or not, uh, I'd, I'd encourage you uh, for two reasons to set a gap master back just a couple of inches. Uh, one, uh, with the MSS, if we ever get to a loose rail butt joints, we don't have the electrical isolation the module needs. So if we get into every rail gaps right, as you look at the rail, you got this one. And then as you turn around to the other guy, and obviously his, this rail's gapped, then we have our electrical gap for the MSS system to work correctly. Uh, another reason is if you just completely uh, snag this on something and just destroy it uh, beyond any repair, uh, you can take a solder gun here, uh, here, here and here, and you can actually pull this back up, uh, clean your silicone out, and uh, get you a new piece of track cut in place without having to come back and try to do surgery um, if you soldered your uh, uh, rail joiners. Uh, you've got a ready-made section that's ready to come out.